Good morning, grade six. Let's continue with our discussion with science six. Okay. How is everybody doing? Doing good. That's great. Okay. I want you to be attentive today simply because these are computations, right? As much as I want this topic as simple as possible, we need to have these computations. Okay. Hang on. Can you see my shared screen now? Yes. All right. Okay. Let's move to the last part, the computation part. So, again, let's take a look at this one. The formula in computing um, your solution, okay, Amount of alcohol. Like for example, if you're going to look at the amount of alcohol in a particular solution, okay, I will, I will use um, as simple as possible, I will use the, the, the lowest terms for this, right? Just be attentive. I want you to be attentive. In getting the amount of alcohol, for example, in a 150 ml bottle, if you have a 150 ml bottle, if this is 500 ml, okay? We are looking at 150 ml of alcohol, okay? How, uh, how much ml would a 150 alcohol, 150% okay, alcohol concentration bottle, okay? In a one, again, in a 150 ml bottle of alcohol, which, is, which has 70% solution. So let's calculate the amount of alcohol which is in 150 ml so this is now the the formula the amount of solution which is a bottle 150 ml okay times the concentration which is 70 percent converted into decimal how can we convert percentage to decimal move two places going to your left okay so we move two places going to your left, okay? From here, from your right to left. So one, two, you put the, what? The decimal point there. So it is 150 ml times 0.70, okay? The concentration of alcohol there is 105 ml. So in your 150 ml bottle of alcohol, it has 105 ml of pure alcohol. Did you get the point? Yeah. Okay. Next is, how can we also calculate the amount of water? Okay. In a 150 ml, 70% solution, alcohol bottle. Okay. How many ml is water? So in calculating the amount of water in that, part, in that particular solution, okay, the formula is amount of solution, which is your bottle, 150 ml, times 1 minus the concentration in decimal. So again, move two places going to your left. Okay, that's 0 0.70. So 1 minus 0 0.70, right? Okay, 150 times 1 minus 0 0.70. The answer is 45 ml. So in your 150 ml bottle of alcohol, which has 70% solution, 
the amount of water there is 45 ml. While in this solution, 70% solution of alcohol in a 150 ml, the amount of pure alcohol is 105 ml. Did you get the point? Yes, teacher. Let's have this example. Okay, let's have this example first. Okay. Let me share whiteboard. How about... Okay. Huh? You can hear me. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Hello. Huh? Can you hear me clearly? Yes, you can, yeah, yeah. teacher. So you are now looking at a whiteboard, right? That's the Zoom whiteboard. How about um? Let's take a look at sugar solution. Okay, sugar solution. We have two hundred ml. Okay. Of sugar solution, which has 250 ml of 30%. Mm, wait, let me erase. Which has a 30% sugar concentration. Concentration. Now, question. 200 ml of 30% sugar concentration. Now, question. How many ml is sugar? That is your solute. Okay. How many ml of sugar are there in a 30% 200 ml sugar solution or su sugar concentration. How can we solve for the amount of solutes? What is the formula again? Are you still with me? What is the formula? Grade 6. We had just discussed this a while ago, right? Could you still remember the formula? Are you still with me? Are you still with me? Grade six, what is the formula? No. Huh? Uh. What is the formula? I had given the formula a while ago, right? Okay, what is the formula? Okay, your container, okay, the amount of entire concentration or entire, um, Entire solution, which is 200 ml. Okay. Times. Or multiplied by the concentration, which is 30%. Okay. How can you convert percentage? How can you convert percentage into decimal? You need to convert this one into decimal. So move two places, going to your left. So one. Two decimal points. So this is it's zero point. Is it me that's lagging? Come again. Am I lagging? Lagging, teacher. Yeah, we can't hear you properly. How about that one? Am I still lagging? 
Oh, no, no. Okay. Again, how can you compute for the sugar, okay, in a 200 ml of 30% sugar concentration or solution, how can you compute the sugar content? What is again the formula? Can you still hear me? What is again the formula? You have the total, okay? ML or total, the totality of the solution, okay? In your bottle, times the percentage, okay? The percentage of the concentration. But you need to convert this one into decimal, so you move two decimal places, going to your left. So one, two, so this is 0.30, okay? 200 times 0.30, what is the result? 200 times 0.30? 200 times 0.30, what is the result? We have? 60. 60 ml, 60. correct, very good. So, bring down the unit used, which is milli milliliter, okay, 60 ml. So, our sugar content, okay, in a 200 ml of 30% sugar concentration or sugar solution is 60 ml. How about the water in it? How can you compute for the water? Huh? What is the formula? You already done with the concentration or the, the sugar content. This is the sugar content. 105 ml? Sugar content. How can we com compute for the water in it? What is the formula again? What is the formula? We have, again, the total ML, okay? The totality of your solution in your bottle, okay? Times 1 minus your solution concentration, okay? The, 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 the percentage of your solute or your sugar here. Convert again into decimal, move two places going to your left, one, two, it's 0.30. So one minus 0 0.30. Okay. What is our answer now? 200 times one minus 0.30. What is the answer? Teacher, I don't really understand. It's really difficult. Huh? Why it's really difficult? It is already there. I have given you the formula ahead of time, correct? Let's go back yeah. again. Okay. Let's go back. So let, let's continue solving this on a while. What's the problem? Where is the problem there? Where's the problem there? What makes it very difficult? We have 140 ml of water. What makes it difficult? Am I lagging again? Yeah, you're quite lagging. Okay, what makes it difficult? We had just applied what we had discussed. Okay? Earlier, we had a discussion in regards to the concentration, correct? This one. We had just applied this one. What makes it difficult? Yeah, you tell me.
Can anybody here tell me what makes it difficult? Okay, Alexander. See. Uh, we have uh, some trouble understanding. <laughs> understanding what? Uh, I think uh, trouble with the like. It's like a like uh breaking the formula like like uh there's like like breaking up the form the formula like in the water Break. there's like thirty ml of sugar. Okay. Yeah. All right, breaking the formula. So the formula is already there. This is the formula. Amount of alcohol is equal to the amount of alcohol there is your solute. The concentration of your alcohol. Okay? The problem there is asking about how many ml of alcohol does your 200 or 150 ml bottle contain? Like if you have alcohol at home, okay? You're, you're rubbing alcohol, it's 70%. What if you have 150 of it in a bottle, okay, which is 70% solution? The problem there is asking about how many or how much pure alcohol does your 70% solution alcohol contain, contain actually. That's the problem. That's the question. So we tend to compute how, how much ml does this 70% with 150 ml solution of alcohol contain. That's the question. It's so easy. The, the solution is there already. Even the formula. So again, the formula in computing for alcohol content in this problem there is uh, the amount of solution, the totality of the amount of solution, which is given 105 ml, times the concentration, which is 0.70. We converted 70% into decimal. In converting decimal, in converting a percentage to decimal, all we have to do is to move the decimal point from your right to your left, okay? Move two decimal points from your right going to your left. And that's it. So what makes it hard? And because I, can, I cannot also gauge you if you will not say something about it. Um, what makes it hard? Yes. What makes it hard? What makes this hard? Anybody? What makes this hard? Did you understand the concept? These are all concepts. These are just basic concepts, by the way. Did you understand the concept? Grade six, are you still with me? Yeah. Okay, did you understand the concept? Honestly speaking. Yeah. 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 What do you think? What makes it hard? The given there is 100, 150 ml of rubbing alcohol with 70% solution. There are two rubbing alcohols in the market, circulating in the market, the 70% alcohol and the 40% alcohol. Okay? So we are actually choosing the 70% solution or 70% alcohol in a 150 ml bottle. So we tend to compute for the amount of alcohol in that 150 ml bottle and the amount of water 
contained in that 150 ml bottle. What makes it hard? You didn't tackle yet the conversion of percentage to decimal. This is in your lower years. I think it's hard because uh, this one kind of uses math. And then? And like, and yeah, like, uh, there's a bunch of This kind of math is what we don't understand. Like zero, like 150 times zero, 0 0.70 equals to 105 mil millimeter ml. You don't understand multiplication, grade six? No, we, we haven't really multiplied with these decimals before. So it's kind of hard for us. You didn't only, multiply only decimal before? No. We only use the like on uh, full numbers. I will talk we to your math teacher. Really we haven't used 0 0.7. Yeah. Okay. We then I need really to talk to your, your math teacher. You didn't tackle decimal yet? Okay. So again, talking about science, science is connected to math, whether you like it or not. Okay? Now, what I am trying to say here is I am trying to prove, okay, that um, in a two in a 150 ml solution of alcohol in in, in, a, in a bottle of alcohol we can actually compute okay the amount of alcohol in it and the amount of water in it okay question why is 150 ml times 0 0.70 hard what makes it hard because we never learn decimals I don't know how to okay. multiply that. In your computer, you type calculator and you comp and you compute. And tell me what it what makes it hard. Okay. Search for calculator and type 150 times 0. 0.70. And what is the result? Because this is actually one of the coverage for your major exam, your master tests. Your master test is second week of September. And I will include this one in the master tests. I think it is not hard. It is a matter of how you accept the idea. Okay? Because the, the numbers there are already given. All you have to do is to substitute. Okay, use your calculator and compute for 150 times 0.70. Just do it manually. It's 105. Huh? Did you get 105 ml? Yeah. Okay, so that's the solution. It is not hard. You are actually the one making it hard. We have a lot of resources at home. Even your computers and your phone has calculators. And then you use it. Okay, you take note of the formula, okay? You write down the formula there given. Take note of the formula. Done? Are you done? Are you done? 
Yeah. Okay. Let's have this example. Let's compute for, okay, 500 ml with 45% with, um, salt solution. 500 ml with 45% salt solution. So I have your 500 ml, okay, of water, fill it with 45% of salt solution or salt. Okay, let's compute for the amount of salt, okay, and the amount of water what is the formula again in getting your um solute just like your sugar what is the formula hmm? the formula for 45 percent yeah you oh, okay. multiply it okay do it kate go Almost time. Do it now. What is the formula? Are you still with me? Yes. Okay, what is the formula? The one that I let you take down. Is it 150 ml? Come again? Is it 150 ml? Have you seen 150 ml there? You go continue, Kate. It's it's correct. Okay, let's take a look oh. at the answer, Kate. 500 ml times 0.45. Use your calculator. Here you go. It's correct. It's correct. You continue. Go ahead, Kate. 225. 225. Okay, 225. What is the unit used there? You also include the unit used, Kate. It's 225. ML, correct. It's correct. So in your 500 ml with 45% salt solution, it has 225 ml of salt inside the 500 ml bottle. How about the water cake? You check on the water. How can you calculate the, um, the amount of water in a 500 ml 45% salt solution? You go, okay. You're doing it right. It's correct. Okay, go, okay. Um, the second formula. Remember the second formula, Kate? Uh, not really. Okay. The second formula? This one, you take note of the second formula. Wait, wait. I'll share it again. The second formula is here. Okay, you take note of the second formula and you will apply this one. 
Go ahead. Okay. Are you done taking down notes of the second formula? The amount of water? Not yet. Not yet. Wait, okay. That's how we solve scientific problems, right? You need to take down notes. You need to take down the, the important details. Take down the formula so that you can actually use that one whenever you actually have that problem. Okay, you're done? Okay. Are you done taking down notes of the second formula? Eh, mom, no, what? Internet, lagi, mom. Okay. So why? Done. Okay. Let's go back to the whiteboard. Right. Let's go back to the whiteboard. Okay. You continue, Kate. So for the amount of water there. Okay. Okay, it's correct, Kate. Okay, go ahead. You go ahead, Kate. You can do it. Okay, use your calculator. You have calculator in your phone and in your PCs. You can actually maximize them. Teacher, can you hear me? Yes, yes. You don't have calculator? I'm calculating. Okay, you're calculating. Okay, Sir, wait for you. Come again. Wait, so teacher, when it's the water solution, it would always have this one. Yes, uh, that's one constant. Oh. And salt that's would constant. just have. Mm -hmm. So in calculating the water, it should have one minus the concentration. That's constant. Oh. Okay, okay, now I think I get it. Recording in progress. Okay. Done picture. Picture is it two hundred and uh two hundred and uh two hundred and seventy five? Yes, that's two hundred and seventy five. How did you get two hundred and seventy five? John, in calculating, again, if you follow the MDAS rule, in calculating um, factors, okay, you need to calculate first what is inside the parenthesis, correct? So you need to calculate first 1 minus 0. 0.45. Afterwards, you multiply 500 times the answer in 1 minus 0. 0.45. Okay, you do it again. Okay, again. You calculate first what is inside the parenthesis or your factor. And then 
you continue with 500 times the answer for 1 minus 0.45. Two. What? So whatever is like um the number here, it would be the same on the bottom, but with a, a one and minus. Yes, of course, because we we're talking about the water there concentration. Okay, so always be the same. Mm hmm. Okay. See, that's why I'm asking. What makes it hard? Because I am only seeing two we didn't really, terms we didn't here. Really we didn't really understand it at first, but we're mm -hmm. oh, that's great. kind of uh, getting to it now. I understand. Yeah. That is why I'm here. I'm unlocking difficulties now. We have less than one minute. Okay. We need to calculate first what is inside the parenthesis. 1 minus 0. 0.45. What is the answer? It is 0. 0.9. 0. Point? 0. 0.45 Five. Huh? 1 minus 0. 0.45 What is the answer? It's 0. 0.55 Okay Oh, 0. 0.55 Correct? Oh, wait, we're supposed to solve it in there Sorry. Okay And then You continue 500 ml 0. Times 0. 0. 0.55 The answer is and 0 0.55 200 275 ml 275 ml correct okay oh. so the amount of water in a 